Good morning. This is Logan Stallings. And this is Verson Davis. And your CHS Student Connection News starts now. Congrats to all the girls who made the basketball team. For the guys who are interested, basketball tryouts start the 28th. Let's get some more info from Coach Hollingsworth. I'm Austin Wittenberg. I'm Braden Lindsey. And Coach Dean Hollingsworth. All right, so Coach, I got a couple questions for you guys. Um, so what is your enthusiasm for this basketball season? Well, we got a lot of kids that work really hard. They uh, get after it in the gym, and they work hard in the weight room. And so I'm really excited about that part. OK, when are tryouts, Coach? October 28th is the beginning of after school practice, so tryouts will really start then. But this year's kind of a strange deal because we have uh, a backed up football season due to COVID. And so that means that there's like three weeks that the, back, the football players will not be with us, plus if they make the playoffs. So really tryouts is going to be like an extended time this year over a three or four week period until football gets done. And then we will select the varsity team from there and the JV team. Brady, what is the difference of, this, of the basketball team this year and last year? Last year, the team didn't really play as a whole and didn't put all their effort into the program. And this year, we got a new coach, new teammates, and we're working as a whole as of right now, and we're doing pretty good. What is the goal by the end of the season this year? Well, we always dream of making the playoffs. That's our number one goal. and so. You know, if you want to set your goals really high, we try to go for district championship, which will be quite a challenge. But uh, being a first-year team, if, if we can gel together and we can get after it, and uh, we, I think we have a chance to set some really good goals and, and make some differences this year. Good luck to our CHS cross-country team. They're wrapping up this season and headed to UIL 5A district championship Wednesday, the 28th. Let's swing over to Jabril to check in with our cross-country team. One. This is your sports reporter, Jabril Douglas, and you're watching the Sports Breakdown. The cross-country team is doing great this year. This week, I interviewed Javante Sterling, a junior on cross-country. Alyssa Flores, a senior on cross-country. Miss Grantham, the assistant coach, and Mr. Rodriguez, the head coach of the cross-country team. I asked Mr. Grantham and Alyssa about how COVID has affected the team. It's, it's affected it a lot. Like, we got a whole month taken away like from our meets and stuff, and we've had to, like, recover from them by paying for meets, like, outside of school. COVID has been very interesting this season. We've had even earlier practices to make sure we get our temperatures taken and keep socially distanced as much as possible. Uh, this pandemic has caused us to lose some of our meets, so the kids have had to work extra hard to stay focused and determined so we can kill it next Wednesday at the district meet. The kids are very tight together. They're a very close family. They've learned to be very dependent on each other and protective of each other. And we are ready to go on Wednesday. We cannot wait. I also asked Javante and Alyssa how the team is doing this year. We all push ourselves and meet the standards and go beyond standards. Yeah, we, we have a really good team this year. Um, the boys and girls are third, <clears throat> third place right now, but we have not gone to district yet, so that's not official. Javante and Alyssa gave me the scoop on what's coming up for cross country next week. Next Wednesday, we got district. We have district um, next week, and we have a really good chance of making it to regionals. We all wish them luck as they head off to district. This has been your sports reporter, Jabril Douglas, and I'll see you next week. Many CTE classes offer industry certifications for CHS students. Earning an industry certification exposes students to real-world workplace situation and demands in a useful and practical way. Such certifications teach important work-life skills that include problem-solving, prioritizing information, critical thinking, and essential documentation. This week, we're celebrating the beginning of our certifications with a couple of programs. It was, it was kind of cool, low key, just because I got the first one, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this certificate. Okay, I'm here with Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones, can you tell me what's behind you and tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Um, these are the certificates. This is our safety and pollution prevention 
curriculum and the automotive and small engine students will complete this and get their yearly certificate for being safe in the automotive and small engine shop. And so these are the ones that have completed it and it's good for one year. They'll have to do it again next year. This week, our teacher feature will be on Miss Melton over at Culinary Arts. Let's head over to H-Hall to learn a little bit about what they do. Today for our teacher spotlight, we have Miss Melton of Culinary Arts. Yes, and I teach Culinary Arts. Here's Miss Melton describing how this year has differed from last so, year. This year versus last year, COVID has kind of messed up a few things. Um, we are not using our bistro room this year. We are hand delivering our meals and just different precautions we have to take with students touching utensils and making sure everything is safe for everyone. Now having COVID precautions, do teachers still use the bistro or has that changed? Year, but we do have several sports teams that come in here for breakfast um, and we have other catering events where we will be using this room this year. So we have our catering events on campus. So we do things like I said for sports teams. Um, we cater the Penguin Project meals and different just like banquets and stuff on campus. And then this year we are also catering a wedding, which is a private event outside of school. Does culinary help students think of a future in I culinary try school? I to gear my class towards just business skills because I know not every student is opening their own restaurant, but I do have a handful of students that do want this career pathway. So we really focus on just skills that will help. And Here's Ms. Mellon describing the culinary pathway. So our pathway is four classes. They start as freshmen. So we have intro to culinary arts, Culinary 1, Advanced Culinary, and then Practicum. So from freshman year to senior year, they get to take four classes and learn different culinary skills. So I have several students who actually do want to go to culinary school um, and open their own restaurants. So I think it's really beneficial for... That's been this week's Teacher that. Spotlight. Stay tuned for next week. One Act Play members have been decided. Congrats to everyone that made it. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. TCC. TCC.